Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is Sir Dan again and for today's video I'll be discussing about the derivative rules including chain rule, product rule, and quotient rule. So I have here three examples to show the process of getting the derivative using the three rules that I have in here. So in number one, let's have this. Number one, we have f of x equals 2x squared or the quantity of 2x squared plus x raised to 3. So kapag meron kayo nakitang parenthesis na merong binomial o trinomial sa loob or polynomial at merong exponent dito sa labas ng parenthesis, you are going to use chain rule to get the derivative of this function. So paano ba ginagawa ang chain rule? So madali lang yan. Let's have this example. <clears throat> Ay, wait lang, nagugulan ako. Adjust ko lang to. So, copying ko yung f of x, number 1, equals quantity of 2x squared plus x raised to 3. The first step in the chain rule is to multiply the exponent here on the left side of the parentheses. Kasi minsan may mga value dito, ano ba, may 2 dito, may 3 dito sa labas. Ang gagawin mo, imumultiply mo yung exponent sa labas ng parentheses dito. E pag walang number dyan, ang gagawin mo lang, bring down. So yung 3 na to, you just have to bring it down here. So magiging 3. Then copy mo tong buong equation inside the parentheses. So 2x squared plus x quantity yung 3 na to ma minus 1 natin parang power rule lang yan so 3 minus 1 meron tayong squared but this is not yet the final answer kasi kailangan natin kunin yung derivative ng nasa loob so get the derivative of what's inside the parenthesis times derivative neto ng 2x squared plus x using the power rule 2 times 2 that is equal to uh, 4, then yung x squared magiging x na lang kasi minus 1 so 2 minus 1, x na lang then yung x, ang derivative ng x plus ay 1 so magiging plus 1 so close parenthesis and then um, after mo magawa to class, yung proseso na to, yung pag multiply dito copy, minus 1, then get the derivative, this will be your final answer there is no need to expand this binomial kasi ahaba lang din yan. So, parehas lang naman yan ito. So, that's how you do the chain rule. Okay? Next, uh, let's have the product rule number 2. As you can see here, we have f of x equals quantity of 3x squared minus 5 times 5x minus 2. The quantity of 5x minus 2. If you see a function that has two factors that is being multiplied with each other, gagamit ka ng product rule. Okay? So, sa product rule, ang gagawin natin ay ganito. Patay ng isa. In getting the product rule class, or in getting the derivative using product rule, gagamit tayo ng gantong um, formula. So, meron tayong u dv plus v du etong dv tsaka du ay derivative ng v at derivative ng u so pipili muna tayo sa dalawa kung sino yung magiging u at sino magiging v so we have two factors so copy natin f of x equals quantity of 3x squared minus 5 and then 5x minus 2. So usually, ang ginagawa, na, ang ginagawa natin, yung unang factor will be the value of u. Then, yung pangalawa is the value of, value of v. So, sundin lang natin to to get the derivative. This is the product rule formula. So, yung u, sabi u lang, copy natin u. So, u is 3x squared minus 5. So, yun yung u natin. Then, katabi ni u dito ay dv. 
Pag sinabing dv, huwag mong kopyahin si v. Kailangan get the derivative of v. So this is v. Get the derivative ng 5x that is equal to 5. Gamit ang identity rule. So, kapag merong number that is multiplied to x, ang sagot ay yung number lang. So, kapi mo lang yung 5. Then, derivative of constant is negative, negative 2. Ang derivative nun ay 0. So, wala na yan. So, 5 na lang to. Next, kapi mo itong plus. Kapi mo yung v. V is 5x minus 2. Kanin na siya yung kinuha ng derivative. Ngayon siya naman kukopyahin. Then, multiply to du. Ngayon, derivative naman neto. Parang baliktaran lang. Copy mo to times derivative neto. Plus, copy mo to times derivative neto. So, derivative neto ay 2 times 3. That is 6. Then, yung x squared magiging x na lang kasi minus 1. Then, negative 5 is a constant. It will become 0. Then, simplify lang natin, distribute natin. 5 times x squared, eto, yung 5 distribute natin. Magiging 15x squared. And then, 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. Plus, eto, times natin to ulit dito sa parenthesis. 6x times 5x is equal to 30. Then, may dalawang x, x squared. Then, 6x times negative 2, since magkaiba ng sign, so negative, 6 times 2 is 12. Then, ito may x, ito wala. Copy mo x. So, ngayon, bago mo i-finalize yung answer mo, kailangan i-combine mo muna lahat na magkakaparehas na term. Si 15x squared ay kaparehas ni 30x squared. They have the same term. So, 15 plus 30. So, nandito yung magiging solution. Okay. So, 15 plus 30, that is equal to 45x squared. Next, si negative 25, walang kaparehas. Si negative 12x, walang kaparehas. Pero, una niyong isulat si yung may x. Negative 12x. Then, ihuli mo yung katulad mong walang x. So, ito, kopya mo, minus 25. This will be your final answer. That's how you do the product rule. Ginagamit lang siya kapag meron dalawang factor na pinag-multiply. Now, let's proceed with the quotient rule in number 3. So, ang ginagawa natin for the quotient rule is this. Kailangan na sundin tong formula na to. So, ito yung madalas kong ginagamit sa klase ko. So, meron tayong low d high minus high d low over low squared. So, ito yung formula natin. Yung low, ibig sabihin yung taas. Yung high, I, I mean yung low yung baba, yung high yung taas. Yung de, meaning derivative. So, kailan ba ginagamit yung quotient rule? So, example in number 3, kapag meron kayo nakita ng numerator and denominator or fraction of two factors, ibig sabihin gagamit kayo ng quotient rule. So, gagamitin lang natin to. So, ngayon, sulat mo natin to, yung number 3 f of x equals 7x plus 4 all over x squared plus 5. Itong taas, natawagin yung high. Ito yung natawagin natin low. So, sundin natin yung formula. Gawin natin. Sundin natin. So, una, low d high. So, low muna daw. Kopyan yung low. Huwag mo yung derivative kasi ang derivative mo yung high. So, low muna. Kopyan mo x squared plus 5. Put parenthesis. Yung day high is derivative ng high. Ito yung high natin, 7x plus 4. Derivative niyan ay, derivative ng 7x ay 7. Yung 4 ay constant, derivative ay 0. So, wala na yun, 7 na lang yan. Then, copy natin to, minus. Yung high natin, copy naman natin. Copy natin ay 7x plus 4. Put parenthesis, don't forget. Then, the low is derivative ng low. This is low, derivative niyan ay uh, yung x squared, ang derivative niya, baba, mo na, baba natin yung squared, yung 2 sa, sa tabi niya, magiging 2 then minus 1, magiging x na lang. Then, 5 is a constant, so magiging 0 na lang, 2x na lang yan. Then, all, all over 
low squared, ang low natin ay x squared plus 5 squared. Then, i-distribute lang natin to yung 7 sa parentheses, magiging 7x squared, then 7 times 5, um, 35, plus 35. Then, bago natin i-distribute tong minus sign na to sa loob ng parentheses, i-distribute man natin tong 2x sa loob ng parentheses. So, 2x times 7x, lagyan natin minus, then parentheses muna, is 14x squared. 2x times 4 is 8 x. Then, all over, copy natin baba, x squared plus 5 squared. Then, ito, distribute lang natin. Magiging 7x squared plus 35. Distribute natin to sa loob. Magabago lang yung sign, minus 14x squared. Negative times positive is negative 8x. Then, all over x squared plus 5 quantity squared. Then, pagsamayin na natin sa taas yung mga magkakaparehas, yung similar terms, 7x squared will be combined with negative 14x squared. So, lagay mo lang sa calculator, 7 minus 14, that is equal to negative 7. Then, x squared, copy lang yan, kasi nag-combine lang naman tayo. And then, itong negative 8x, unahin natin, wala siyang kapareha, sulat natin dito. So, you're done with this, you're done with this, kinumbine mo sila. Then, ito, kinopya mo lang. Hinuli ko yung constant kasi siya yung walang x. Parang ikaw. Plus, 35. All over, copy na yung ilalim, x squared plus 5 quantity squared. You don't need to expand this anymore. So, this could be your final Ah, so, lagyan mo lang f prime of x. Dito ko na sinulat. O, okay, pwede naman dito. So, this will be your final answer. The derivative of example number 3. So, that's it for this video. I hope that you learned something from this. Just keep sub subscribing to keep you more updated on my next video. Thank you.